This man right here, quarterback Jeff Young, is going to be a problem for us in this episode. I can feel it. Three touchdowns, over 300 passing yards in his rookie debut, his NFL debut against a pretty decent Seahawks football team. They weren't very good last season, but they're a little bit better this year in season two of this franchise. Matt Rule, of course, walking out fairly confident after taking a quarterback that just played in the national championship against Ohio State. Lost, but Jeff Young was pretty darn good in that football game and really good in the playoffs. So he's going to be a tough test for us. Carolina, interdivisional opponent. Not going to be too bad on defense. His first play of the game. First play of the football game. Alvin Kamara fumbles the football, and that's just something you can't do, man. He had, I think he had two or three fumbles in the very first game we played in Carolina in season number one. So I'm thinking, like, there's no way he fumbled this, right? Well, he was never down. His knee was never down. Elbow was never down. Yeah, he fumbled it, and there was just no way that we would even attempt to challenge that. So second down to goal, Jeff Young. That, they're going to actually get him for a pass on that play. And they're going to lose some yardage there. Third down and goal from the 12. And Young, pass completed. And that's the missed tackle again. Trying to lay the hit stick on these guys. Trying to look for a Madden fumble. They happen all the time. Unfortunately, no dice. Here's a pass going to be completed. Ooh, nice little free-form passing right there. Starting to get the hang of that. It's going to do wonders for us here in the passing game if we can keep that up. Here's a pass going to be completed at the numbers to Chris Olave. Nice throw. Getting to about the 18. Here we are at the 9-yard line. Second down and 1, and that is something you can't do. There's nobody open, though. And Gross Matos pretty much unblocked. It's going to get to James Winston now. Third and 13. We're going to the end zone, and Olave can't turn his head quite fast enough, and we're going to end up kicking a field goal here. Christian McCaffrey, first time we've seen him in action here in this game. He's going to take a big hit there from Pete Werner. But he hangs on to the football, gets out of bounds. Nice little cutback here. Looks like Chuba Hubbard. He's going to get eight yards and we can't seem to stop the run and everybody on the Saints sidelines coaching staff is like how are we going to stop these guys here's Christian McCaffrey again running to the outside big hit there but he stays on his feet took two more Saints to push him out of bounds Carolina here at the six yard line after losing three but they will find a way to get in the end zone that's Christian McCaffrey again on this drive he was a menace and the Panthers are now up 14 to three as we're nearing the end of the first quarter Let's get back over here to the Saints side of things. Kamara, nice run, nice spin move, picking up a bunch of yardage there. But we've got our work cut out for us here on third and six. Nobody's open there, but we're going to kick it down here to the flat. And Chris Olave with the spin move. Dennis Allen, head coach, loves that effort. Jameis, a little pump fake here, but not biting. Maybe he possibly could have had Kamara there on the triangle route. Maybe catches it, breaks tackle, gets the first down. It's kind of a lucky, lofty type of goal there. But 14 to 6 after we kick a field goal, and it's Jeff Young time. Take a look at this man. Dude, he's just blowing by Saints defenders. He's got a lot of speed, a great tackle ability. Showed it off in college. Shows it off here, waving that first down marker. Third down and 10. Young. He's got a couple receivers open, but he didn't anticipate it. It doesn't seem like but he will slide short of the first down. Fourth down and three. And why do we show special teams? Because, ooh, good things happen. We stop the fourth down and three attempt. Punter trying to throw the football. Third down and four. Pass completed here to Marquez Callaway. That's a first down. No, they're not going to give it to us. There is no way that he got stopped short. No way. But the refs are in it to squeeze us a little bit, to cheese us. We get the first down with Taysom Hill. Fourth and one, we get it. First down and 10, Kamara moving backwards. Second down and 15, Winston trying to find somebody open. We've got, looks like Chris Olave there just went right through his fingertips. Winston just, whoa, just <laughs> going way too far back. Just drifting, drifting, drifting. We'll have to punt the football to Carolina. Second and seven, Hubbard is not going to pick up much of anything. Third down and five, here comes Young. Pass incomplete. Tight end just dropped it. We get a little bit of a break there. Troutman, next possession here for the Saints. Third and ten, Troutman, huge catch. Moving the chains, under a minute left. We've got to get, a, got to get another field goal. We've got to get a touchdown. That's the main goal here, definitely. 
But nice catch by Kamara. We got second down in inches. 30 seconds now. We still have two timeouts left. We're going to call a little play action. That's going to be just enough to get Troutman open and just past those linebackers. We will call a timeout here. And let's see if we can find something in the end zone. Firing it out to the left. Traquan Smith, the intended target. It's going to go incomplete. Second down and 10. That at least stops the clock. Pass completed here to Olave. 11 seconds. You know if you try to hurry that thing up or spike it, it's going to run out of clock on you. So we call a timeout. This has got to be in the end zone or it's got to be out of bounds. We're going to go to Michael Thomas. A risky throw in coverage. But Michael Thomas comes down with it. That's a touchdown, Saints. Question now is... Do you go for two or do you go for the extra point? We will just kick the extra point. It is 14 to 13 as we head into halftime. Okay, that's a good comeback. It's a very, very good comeback. Very defensive powered football game here by the looks of it. No turnovers quite yet for either team, but I'm sure that's bound to, to change given the way the Madden is this season. 14-13 game here still. Carolina fires to the end zone. That's going to be a completion on third down and six. And it took four, five, actually five Saints to bring that guy down. It's unbelievable. Here's Jeff Young scrambling to the left. He's going to try to fire. Nothing doing there. That's a sack by Shy Tuttle. Going to push him back to third down and goal. Here is Young. No pressure. Scrambling a little bit throws this thing out of bounds. Third and goal turns to fourth and goal. Carolina held to a field goal. That's a great job defensively. Really. You never want to give up points, but you know, I'm okay with that. 17-13. We will fail on our next possession, but we're going to get the football back. And my God, did Demario Davis just read that route perfectly? He jumped that thing. I mean, he knew it was coming. So we get the football back. Third down and seven. Here's a pass completed to Ryan Armstrong. We have not seen him in action at all in this football game. So third quarter, about a minute left, he makes a he makes a catch, and then he's going to be cutting back. He's going to be moving through that line, getting all the way down to the one-yard line, but we will lose Cesar Ruiz. And on third down and goal, we're going to try to go back to Ryan Armstrong, who scored his first touchdown last week in that power goal line formation. Can't get it done here. We will get the field goal back that Carolina just hit. So unfortunately, we were going to lose James Hurst on the line. That sucks. But oh, man, we're going to get the football back again off another interception. And at this point, guys, I just feel bad for the CPU. Like, come on. Come on. Like, I'm all saints in this franchise, but Mike, dude, come on. Madden, you cannot be serious right now. So honestly, I'm going to give them the football back. <laughs> like, this is getting stupid. Bradley Roby makes an interception off the guy's helmet. I'm like, just just fire this thing off your back foot. Literally, literally just give them the ball back. I don't even care what people in the comment section say or what the viewers say at this point. Like, I have to, I have to make this thing. I have to make it as real as I can. Like, come on, Bradley Roby makes this stupid interception, and like at this point, I don't care if Jameis says an interception on his docket. But because he has an INT, I have to show it. Goldie, why did, how did Jameis throw an interception? You didn't show that. Well, there it is, guys. All right, let's get back to the gameplay action here. Three yard line after that completion, and then Alvin Kamara is gonna find a way to get stopped at the one. Second down and goal. We're gonna call a toss play. Taysom Hill, good block, and then Ryan Armstrong. Touchdown, number two in his rookie campaign. I love it. Ryan Armstrong has actually been a focus point for us in this football game here in the second half. Kamara hasn't really had a ton of run here, not a lot of openings, and Ryan Armstrong's checked in and he's done fine. We will go for two, and I don't even know how I saw that. I'm literally just throwing it to Olave to see what happens on that two-point conversion, but we do get it. It's 24-17. Young's going to scramble. He's going to get stopped short. I wish the AI was a little bit smarter on guys just trying to get the first down. Like, he didn't even give it a, a really good chance. But good job special teams here for Carolina. Going to get us to the two-yard line. We're going to get with the power back again. we got Armstrong trying his best to get up past the five. And we seemingly can't do it. So third down and ten. We do have a two-minute warning, Mark. So there's a stoppage of clock. 
if we run the football, they're calling timeout. So I'm thinking we got to throw. We got to throw. We got to pick up a first down here. If it's not there, check it down. Run the clock. They'll call a timeout anyway. And that's exactly what happened. So here's the situation. Carolina, 24-17. A minute left at the seven-yard line. They're driving. We got to get a stop right here. So Marshawn Lattimore freaks Jeff Young out. He's going to slide again, protecting the football. Carolina still has two timeouts left to go. They can use them whenever they would like to, but here's a big hit. No, again, Lattimore freaks Jeff Young out. So he slides. He doesn't try to get to the, to the goal line. Just unreal. 23 seconds. Young fires to the back of the end zone. That's a touchdown to Terrace Marshall Jr., and they are an extra point away from tying the football game with 21 seconds left to go, guys. 21 seconds left to go. They will kick the extra point. It is now 24-24. We will run the clock out. Tie game. Don't risk anything. I know how Madden works. We probably would fumble the ball or get a pick six. Something stupid would happen. And I would have wasted an hour of my life playing this football game, trying to bring this content to you guys. So... We're going to overtime. That's That was my thought process. We're going to OT. Cade Kwame. Go, baby. Oh, he could have had one more blocker. He would have been sprung loose. The rookie would have been all the way gone. Second down and four. Pass completed here to Troutman. Nice pitch and catch there with Jameis Troutman. Four minutes, eight seconds left in overtime. Second down and two. No. I saw it too late. I saw it too late. Jameis Winston throws an INT. Our man just completely, completely jumped that route. Carolina here with the football. Young going for the home run. Out there too. None other than Marshawn Lattimore. He comes down with the INT on the very next play after we just gave him the football. And now look at this. Look what we're going to do. Jameis bombs it away to Chris Olave. All the way down to the 41. That's a first down. Celebrate it. There you go. Celebrate it. Second and six. Kamara. Big time run. He's going to pick up the first. Getting to the 26 here. Third down and it looks like eight. Armstrong will run up the middle. We'll kill some more clock. The fourth and seven. We will kick this field goal. And Matt Rule, now the fired Matt Rule in real life. He's still here in season two. Calls this little savvy timeout here in overtime. Seven mile an hour wind, pushing the ball to the right. So what are we going to have to do here? I've never really made any of these kicks. We'll see if Will Lutz is good enough. And he is. Saints will win the football game 27-24. Very, very hard fought win here today. I, I'm kind of I'm impressed with how we played. I'm fine with how we played. And you know, outside of the the one turnover that we threw in overtime, Winston was pretty good. You know, 300 yards again, and uh, he seems to hit that marker regularly. I think the one interception that we threw in overtime that that really that really hurt. I really thought that we were going to lose that football game then. Um, but the other interception, kind of giving the ball back to him, I I don't even count that one. So honestly, I mean, if anybody else is watching, they're probably like, "No, dude, just take your points, man." Literally, the CPU is gonna be dumb. You take it. It's like, yeah, but I'm in this to to create compelling content, and uh, I just don't want to cheese the game as much as possible. But otherwise, I thought it was a solid win. Our defense played played pretty good. Um, getting three turnovers on Jeff Young. He's not going to do that very often, but you know, a guy that's a dual threat like he is that can run and pass, I think uh, getting three turnovers is something very difficult to do, but we found a way to do it. It's just like this defense, again, I, I think even though we've lost so many pieces from that season one Super Bowl run, especially on defense, I think that we still have enough players to turn the ball over at a high rate and, uh, give our offense extra opportunities so we're still a we're still looking like we're a fairly good team week one's in the books that's a dub week two's in the books get another dub i think we're all right but here's the test we get the tampa bay buccaneers 
who are like an 84 overall team. We're an 80, so we've lost a bunch of pieces. They haven't lost a bunch of pieces. If anything, they've added. Granted, they did lose Tom Brady due to retirement. Spent some more time with Giselle and family, I guess. But a lot of the same players. Vita Vey, Tristan Wirfs, Antoine Winfield, Devin White. Yeah, it's a pretty dang good team. So, in simulation, it's going to be a test for us. Can we hold on? Can we get a W here and go to 3-0? That's the test. We'll also see some simulation games against other opponents, the Lions, the Jaguars, and the Bears. Now, we will get a win, 19-17, so a defensive battle. Take a look at the numbers here for our team. Look at the time of possession, 34 minutes. Jameis Winston, no touchdowns, no picks. He was literally a game manager in this game, 145 yards, and Tyler Huntley actually outplayed him as far as his yards go. Uh, rushing game for the Bucks. Fournette was a guy. Jameis Winston, 5 for 24. Wow, that's interesting. Chris Olave had a rushing touchdown. He was used on maybe some sweeps. That's kind of funny. Kind of chipped away at the passing game just a little bit. I don't know. It's a very defensive battle by the looks of it. We'll see how our, our defense did. A lot of tackles there for Davis. No tackles for losses. Only two sacks on Tyler Huntley. And that is Kemba Digby, I believe, his first sack of his NFL career. We also had two interceptions, Adebo and Roby. So some, some familiar faces in the box scores there for INTs. Now we will get another W against Chicago, 21-3. So an NFC Championship rematch, and we just outplayed them again. No turnovers for either side, but look at the total yards gained, 438 here for the Saints. Penalty yards, 15 here for us, so that didn't really do us in. But two touchdowns, no picks here for Jameis, 250. Had one sack, given up 77% completion percentage, and Justin Fields was terrible at 55%. So, you know, I, it's... it's I don't know what else to say. I think our team's actually pretty darn good. I think you guys in the community, you really set the tone here for this Saints season. If we didn't have as good of a draft as we did, I don't think that we would have immediate impact players like uh, Ryan Armstrong or um, some guys on defense as well like Kemba Digby. I just don't think that we would be here right now. I think we'd probably be like uh, we're 3-0, and actually 4-0. and Yeah, we're at the top of the NFL. <laughs> we don't score a lot of points. We're near the bottom in points scored. But defensively, we've given up 57 points against us. That is tops in the NFL. We are the number one defense as far as points scored against us go. And uh, as we take on the Detroit Lions here in the next episode, which will happen this Thursday, we're going to see how we stack up against another rookie quarterback, Trey Johnson, out of Illinois. So that'll be a fun game to watch. And with all the wins and all the XP bonuses and look at all these rookies, like we got L.A. Rowe, Kemba Digby, Cade Kwame, Caesar Braun, Kalen Walker, like all of our rookies getting so many experience boosts and bonuses because they've got that hidden dev, man. They got the hidden dev and we're starting to win all these games, ratting off a nice little winning streak here. Uh, we're 4-0, man. <laughs> we're 4-0. I was honestly thinking that this season was going to go a lot different than it is going. Granted, it could tailspin if we start playing some tougher opponents. Because we've got to think, really, the only true competitive teams that we've played against was Tampa Bay and Philadelphia. Carolina and Chicago, even though Chicago made it to the championship game last year, is kind of a fluke a little bit. So I don't really believe in Chicago as being a really good team in this season, year two. So I think out of our four wins, we've really gotten two quality victories. But guys, that's it for the episode. Leave a like if you like this thing. I will see you back here for Thursday Night Football against the Detroit Lions. We're going to go to Ford Field and take on the rookie quarterback, Trey Johnson. And that'll be Thursday's video. So guys, leave a like if you like this thing. I'll see you in the next one. As always, thank you so much for watching. And peace.